transparency seems to have been a really major issue in the diamond industry in the past. Uh, how has that changed? And is De Beers doing enough? Is the government of Botswana doing enough in terms of being transparent about where its diamonds are coming from? Kimberley Kimberley process is there to make sure that there is transparency of provenance and uh, we are fully behind it. On the De Beers side, for the De Beers group of companies, we are absolutely sure of every diamond we sell because we all mine them. We, we mine them all. This whole relationship that you have with the Botswana government, it's almost a template for what can be achieved in other countries. But uh, what's the one key element that's made this relationship last so successfully and for so long? All participants from the government of Republic of Botswana and De Beers we work on the same elements, we, sh we, we write on the same song sheet, and uh, if we are fully aligned, it's not that difficult to take a decision with a full consensus. And I have to tell you, in the last two to three years, we never had one, one problem. We, we shared information and we went forward with one voice. Beneficiation and this whole supply chain, the upstream and downstream relationship, and. The, the way the Beers has gone about developing it here in Botswana, it's almost, I mean, if we could teach South Africa or provide South Africa with some guidelines about how to do it more efficiently in terms of beneficiation and in terms of supply chain, what would be the one or two key issues you'd look at if you were to offer advice to the South African government? When you look at the benefits of being fully aligned, as we see in Botswana, I will clearly encourage other governments, like South African government, to, to, be, to seek alignment and to sit down and discuss so that it is a, a, a really a, a decision or, or a movement we will take together moving forward. And uh, maybe this is the direction I will encourage the government to, to take in the future.